Well, it was a game too far, the most important thing this season is the league, look last July we never thought we had a chance at the league. Today we are still top of the league looking down on the Rangers. Chris Commons, Rangers were fitter, faster and stronger and deserve to win. One thing for sure is, Celtic will need to reset and refocus after that abject performance. The match was marred by a series of baffling decisions by the man with the whistle with Chris Sutton and Michael Stewart heavily critical as they watched the match for Premier Sports. And former ref, Derek Crothers chipped in to say on social media. Note for Bobby Madden, it's not your job to keep players on the pitch, it's your job to enforce the laws of the game and protect players' safety by enforcing said laws of the game. Lindstrom goes on to commit his sixth foul, three being cautions in their own merits. Aribo goes down in the box where there is no foul, Hart has the ball and Madden stops game stopping a quick counter-attack. Juranovic gets clearly fouled, and is down Madden gives no foul allows a quick counter-attack which results in a caution for McGregor. Consistently poor from the ref. Chris Commons went on to say, it was a triumph not only of fitness, but of courage and sheer desire. Their determination to go the extra mile and find some extra reserves of energy and power was all the more impressive given what happened against Braga on Thursday night. Had things not gone to plan, their whole season would now be in ruins. Braga would have dumped them out of Europe, with Celtic then marching on towards a treble. If that had happened, fans would have been calling for Van Bronckhorst to be relieved of his duties in the summer. That's how things work in the Glasgow Goldfish Bowl. It wouldn't have mattered that he's still relatively new in the job. Celtic never quite found a way of playing through the press, which has been unlike them over recent weeks and months. Tom Rogic and Rio Hattate were basically just passengers in midfield. The front three of Hotta, Lila Bada, and Dyson Maeda were also largely ineffective. It's probably as lacklustre and tame a performance as I've seen from Celtic since the European games against Bodo Glimt. They just never got going at all. There was no spark and they certainly didn't look like a team who were fresh coming into this game on the back of an eight-day break. Angie Postacoglu was asked about that in his pre-match interview and whether he felt the extra rest period would be beneficial. His answer was basically along the lines of there being no such thing as a rest period. He insisted that the players had been worked hard physically in training during the week. Those sorts of comments doesn't look particularly clever when you've got Cameron Kartovic as literally unable to run in extra time, with other players also cramping up. Rangers actually looked like the fitter team yesterday. From a Celtic point of view, how can that possibly happen? Rangers were able to come from behind and find an extra gear to win it in extra time. It was such an odd way for the game to pan out given the respective schedule of both teams. A lot of people were questioning the performance of referee Bobby Madden. In all honesty, I found some of his decisions absolutely baffling. Look he's a hun and showed it yesterday. The performance of Madden doesn't take away from the fact that the Rangers were simply the better team on the day. They deserved to win. Celtic must now refocus their efforts on securing the Premiership title. I don't expect yesterday's defeat to have any major impact in that regard. I still fully expect Celtic to go on and get the job done. A treble would have been nice. But a league and league cup double will still feel like a hell of an achievement given where they were last summer. Celtic did not perform well. I would be saying this whether we progress to the final or not. All I could think throughout the game was that we looked like the team that had just played 120 minutes on Thursday, not them. The Celtic players looked sluggish throughout the whole game and they have had over a week to prepare for this tie. That's worrying and something Angie Postacogler and his coaches will have to thoroughly investigate. At 1-0 Celtic were in prime position to advance to the final and be that one stage closer to a treble that you know Angie Postacogler would have been desperate to claim in his first season at the club, especially with the things said about him in the media in the early stages of his career in Scotland. In the long run, yesterday may be a blessing in disguise. It will dispel any notion anyone may have that we only need to turn up to win these matches. Nothing will be easy, 
and the team need to be ready to give everything they have got in our next two matches against Ross County and the Sefco. Win those two and it's over. We are champions. And on that note try to have a good day Celtic fans. Let roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party, roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party.